In Brooklyn, New York, at the turn of the century, lived two young Norwegians so brave and so bold. Frank Samuelson only halfway through his twenties, George Harbo had just become thirty years old. Now Harbo had spent all his life on the water, he'd shipped in square riggers when only a lad. His partner likewise was no stranger to working, no matter the task he gave all that he had. That year a rich publisher offered a challenge that men in a vessel, no matter the size, couldn't cross the Atlantic without steam or canvas, and ten thousand dollars he named as a prize. Now dredging up oysters by hand is no picnic, and these two Norwegians were tough as a whip. Says Frank, if we row only four miles an hour, in fifty-four days we can finish the trip. We'll see you in France, or we'll see you in heaven, cried Harbo and Samuelson out on the bay. Two hearty young oyster men after adventure, and no one believed they could row all the way. Obtaining a sponsor, they started their training. They ordered a dory of cedar and oak. Just eighteen feet long, with a draft of eight inches, and Fox was the name of their cockle shell boat. On the sixth day of June, 1890, and six Messrs. Harbo and Samuelson started to row. They took food and water to last them till August, and the newspaper said they were foolish to go. We'll see you in France, or we'll see you in heaven, cried Harbo and Samuelson out on the bay. Two hearty young oyster men after adventure, and no one believed they could row all the way. From the slip in Manhattan, they rode through the narrows, then out for the Gulf Stream and onto the deep. Each day they would row eighteen hours together, at night they took turns getting three hours sleep. Their stove wouldn't light, so they ate cold provisions, their arms and their hands became swollen and cramped. The odd passing vessel that took them on board Was their only relief from the toil and the dam Then out on the Grand Banks the weather attacked them The wind humped the water into mountainous waves They lashed down their oars and they tied on their lifelines And prayed they were not going straight to their graves We'll see you in France or we'll see you in heaven Cried Harbo and Samuelson out on the bay Two hearty young oystermen after adventure And no one believed they could row all the way Then out of the dark came a monstrous wave Capsizing the fox and her terrified crew their lifelines held fast, but they lost half their water, and most of their food it was swept away too. They carefully rationed the little remaining, praying for help as they rode o'er the brine. Then out in the distance they spied a tall ship, with the colors of Norway afloating behind. Now the captain would not be convinced they weren't crazy But he gave them supplies and they went on their way By the lines on the charts they were halfway to Europe But now they must row sixty miles every day We'll see you in France or we'll see you in heaven Cried Harbo and Samuelson out on the bay Two hearty young oystermen after adventure And no one believed they could row all the way the weather held fair and the two men kept pulling All through each long day and far into each night Then early one morning before the sun rose Far out on the horizon they spotted a light 
On August the 1st they made land at St. Mary's On the south coast of England close by Bishop's Rock In amazement the townsfolk gathered down by the water Where Harbo and Samuelson barely could walk most men would have stopped then to bask in their glory After having been sun-beaten, capsized and starved But they were both back in their boat the next morning And in less than a week they arrived at Le Havre We'll see you in France, and we'll see you in heaven Cried Harbo and Samuelson out on the bay To hearty young oystermen after adventure And no one believed they could row all the way so those of you listening who yearn for adventure Like Harbo and Samuelson so long ago Like them be prepared for the task you are facing They were not only brave but by God they could row We'll see you in France or we'll see you in heaven Cried Harbo and Samuelson out on the bay To hearty young oystermen after adventure And no one believed they could row all the way We'll see you in France or we'll see you in heaven Cried Harbo and Samuelson out on the bay To hearty young oystermen after adventure